Sasuke vs Itachi is one of the greatest, if not the greatest display of genjutsu mastery and brotherly love in all fiction. It has hands, it has jutsu, but more importantly, it's the first time we got to see two high level Uchiha fight. Hey everybody, Sai here. I took it upon myself to watch the whole fight from beginning to end and analyze and counted every single jutsu that was used in the fight. And since I still haven't beaten the Sasuke Glazer allegations, I added this bar to show you guys who I think is winning during the fight. So this fight starts off with Sasuke proclaiming Itachi to be dead at his feet. And I gotta give him credit, cause he was right. After a quick kunai sword exchange, Itachi just picks Sasuke up and flings him around like how toddlers do their jackets when they're mad. Apparently this move has a name and is called the early sacrifice. It's the taijutsu move and it's just listed as a jutsu for some reason. I don't know, it's kinda funny. This is such a pipe down little bro move. I would've lost my cool and used Kirin right off the get go. Sasuke stays cool however and use Shidori stream to make Itachi dodge upwards just to see Sasuke be already at the ceiling. Then Sasuke seemingly kills his big bro. And Sasuke thinks this too. He's like, I'm really like that. He really thought that he killed an S rank rogue ninja that is a master of illusions with one jutsu and some fast reflexes. Meanwhile, Itachi was never there. He was using his typical crow genjutsu. But get this, Sasuke after realizing he got tricked, quickly puts Itachi under a genjutsu, giving him a taste of his own medicine, and stabbing him in the back. I think it's funny that Sasuke still thinks he had more trouble with Deidara than with Itachi. Like it wasn't literally one of Deidara's goals to surpass Itachi. But halfway through the conversation with his brother, Sasuke understands that he's kind of being delusional and realizes that he was under another genjutsu, and counters with a Chidori stream to attack the real Itachi. But then we see everything from Zetsu's perspective, and we see that Sasuke and Itachi did not even move for real. To me it's even still a bit unclear if Zetsu means they haven't moved since the beginning of the fight, or if they haven't moved since after Itachi did his iconic finger point. But what I do know is that Zetsu was probably seeing a scene akin to this. So, you gonna take a swing? Or are you just gonna stand there staring into my eyes? Who? What was that? I was busy staring into your eyes. Then as Itachi starts some Madara Uchiha info dump, he puts Sasuke under a Genjutsu for that 4K IMAX 3D experience. Then Sasuke and Itachi start tool summoning like crazy. Yes, I said both of them. Unless you're willing to believe that Itachi has an unlimited supply of shuriken under his Ukatsuki robe. After they're done throwing shuriken, they clash and Itachi reveals a shadow clone that was lurking behind him. His clone throws three kunais at Sasuke and Sasuke uses one of his many skills he inherited from Orochimaru and uses a weird snake summon to defend himself while his hands are busy. Then Sasuke uses another tool summoning to summon a demon wind shuriken and then adds his lightning through it and giving it a numbing effect. By doing that he defeats the shadow clone. But at that very moment though, the shadow clone was revealed to be a crow clone. Then Itachi acts swiftly, cause while the crows from the clone were dispersing in Sasuke's direction, he kicks Sasuke and Sasuke attempts to use a Chidori, but gets stopped and gut checked by Itachi. Itachi then pulls an older brother classic, doing the come here chokehold. The young avenger then proceeds to use a partial transformation jutsu of curse mark level 2. Then Sasuke completes his transformation and releases his weird snake summon again. Creatively named hidden shadow snake hands. Or you can call it Sein Jush. But that's if you're spiritually Japanese just like me. <laughs> Because Sasuke just displayed his ability to free himself from Itachi's strongest genjutsu, the Tsukuyomi, the clan killer realized that a genjutsu battle would be pointless from this very moment on, ending the genjutsu segment of this fight. As Itachi starts preparing for a jutsu, Sasuke shows his mastery in ninja toolsology and throws a demon wind shuriken. One big shuriken is enough for Itachi to handle, and the future father of one knew that, so he threw two shuriken one hiding in the shadow of the other. He then added a lightning attribute to it, giving Itachi more reason to dodge instead of block like the last time. But Sasuke, just like Nikakado Avocado, was two steps ahead and rigged the shuriken to break apart with the wire strings, impaling Itachi's cheek, rendering him unable to clench for at least two weeks. This was so impressive, Sasuke did not even believe it worked. Did it work? Is this another Genjutsu? I swear if it's another genjutsu. 
As Sasuke ascertains that this may be his only chance, he gives Itachi maximum pressure, hitting him with a fire style fireball jutsu followed by a chidori. Itachi narrowly escapes to the roof, somehow, and uses a classic Uchiha fire style fireball jutsu. Sasuke then defends himself with a partial curse mark transformation. Then they both clash with their respective fire styles. By the way guys, you know the drill, comment how many jutsu you think Sasuke and Itachi use. If you get it wrong, you gotta subscribe. Deal? Deal. And y'all call me a Sasuke Glazer, but White Zetsu was slobbering on Sasuke's meat at some stages of the fight too. Just saying, go at him for once. Then the clan killer himself uses the Amaterasu to win the clash of fire styles. And this was before everyone and their mom could counter the Amaterasu, so Sasuke knew that if that Amaterasu touched him, it would have been a wrap. And Itachi could add another Uchiha name to his kill count. So Sasuke decides to use one of the sacred Joestar techniques and Itachi starts spamming Amaterasu like crazy. He does that until he hits Sasuke. He did all that just for him to realize that his baby brother has a bachelor's in ninjaometry. Cause when Sasuke got hit with the Amaterasu, he used the Chidori stream to break through the roof and used the Orochimaru style substitution and slipped through the cracks. He then proceeds to fully transform in curse mark level 2 and follows it up with 4 dragon flame jutsus. This will probably be my last jutsu. The Sharingan can access chakra. Stop bluffing. Ugh, you forgot I have my PhD in chakra chemistry. And I used up every bit of chakra to prepare for my ultimate jutsu. Now be gone with the thunderclap. See, Sasuke used the dragon flame jutsu to form a nimbus cloud that he would use for Kirin, the S rank lightning style jutsu that utilizes the weather to create the most powerful lightning based attack in Sasuke's arsenal. Doing all that without expending too much chakra. He also used this in the last fight at the final valley. Which is also a fight I have a video on. <coughs> Check the playlist. He also uses the Amaterasus from Itachi to create extra heat which in turn added in the making of the Nimbus Cloud. Now that being said, with all this setup needed, I know Sasuke was bluffing at the beginning of Shippuden when he wanted to use that jutsu against Naruto. Look how clear the sky is here, that shit would not have worked! Anyway, Itachi tanks Kirin and Sasuke goes curse mark level 2 again. Itachi did say he used Susado to survive Kirin, so I'm gonna take his word for that. And because Sasuke is now trying to force some extra chakra out, Orochimaru manifests himself out of Sasuke. You mind if I slither in a few raps? Wow. Lame. Get your snake head ass out of here. And Orochimaru uses the 8 headed serpent jutsu, making that the last jutsu and making those all the jutsu that were used. Now it's time to go over some controversial picks. Now, counting all the jutsu that we have seen, including the ones that were casted when under a genjutsu, the total of jutsu would then be 39. And only counting the jutsu outside of the ones in a genjutsu, 33. Of those 39 jutsu, Sasuke used 24 in total, with 6 of those being fire related and also 6 of those being lightning based jutsu. And they call Naruto a spammer, but Sasuke is top 3 spammers too with almost 5 chidoris. Itachi used 14 jutsu and 5 of those jutsu were fire related, and that's with counting Amaterasu, and has casted a total of 4 genjutsus. Also, Orochimaru used 1 jutsu. But wait, one of the biggest glaring problems with this is this exchange right here. Cause Sasuke and Itachi recast the tool summoning jutsu a lot. I counted every single shuriken underground and nah I'm kidding, you guys are gonna have to do it yourself. So if you didn't guess the amount of jutsu right, you gotta pay the tax, you gotta subscribe. And if you made it to the end of the video, prove it by commenting what anime you guys watch other than Naruto.